Hi everybody. So today I'm going to bring you along while I make one of my favorite Christmas ornaments. It is a German glitter glass ornamented pine cone. These are the really small eyelets. They're very tiny. Um, you can get them at most craft supply stores. The first version I'm going to do is just a natural pine cone. And I chose this one because it's actually not perfect at the end. And I wanted to show you that you can use pretty much any pine cone. It doesn't have to be straight at the end. So you use your fingers to just screw it in tightly and um, I'm just going to show you how well it stays in there when you pull on it with the little hanger. I've got my chip brush and my Mod Podge here. I did not dilute the Mod Podge, this is um, just straight out of the jar. And as you can see, I'm going in kind of against the grain on the, um, on the pine cone here. And it's not glopping on, it's... Um, oh, see, now you can see why I choose the chip brush because this this action, this sort of jabbing um, action with a with a paintbrush can really destroy a good paintbrush. So just use something cheap um, or one you've used a whole lot and is no longer very good. And, um, and you just want to push the glue in a little ways. You don't have to get all the way in there, just on the on the tips and on and then pushed in a little ways. You don't want it on there too thick. The more you do this, the more you'll get a feel for what's the amount, right amount of glue. You can see I'm holding both ends, even though I did put the, the ornament hanger end on already. That's going to come in handy when I put the glass glitter on. Okay, so I've got my my German glass glitter here. This is, I believe this is clear. And I'm using a spoon. I'm just gently shaking it over like it's snowing on the pine cone. And don't worry about the, the uh, glitter going to waste because whatever doesn't stick just falls on your plate and you can pour it back in the bowl pretty easily. A little tap there to knock off any excess and then get the end of it kind of dipped in the bowl there. Here you can see how pretty that is. And the Mod Podge does dry clear, so it looks pretty opaque right now, but it will it will dry clear. So version two is the gilded pine cone. I use this um, craft paint to to paint the the pine cone quite a while back. It's fully dried now, and I'm gonna take this one and do the same thing as I did with the natural pine cone. I just wanted to show you the difference there. So once again, taking my chip brush, not too much Mod Podge, spreading it all around. I'm clearly not used to doing this in front of a camera, so I wasn't doing great about keeping it in the field. So I apologize for that. I will try to get better at keeping it in the screen of view so you can see what I'm doing. But I think you get the idea. And coming back in with the glitter glass here. Be generous with the with the glitter. It looks like a lot, but when it dries down, it looks it looks beautiful. See here, it looks so thick, but um, when it dries down, it looks great. Now there's a spot that I did miss with the glue, but no big deal. You really won't even notice. So the one on the left is fully dried and you can see how much, um, you can see the effect there of the one that is dry versus the one that is still wet. So these are just some big sugar cones. I'm going to use these for display, I think, not for ornaments. So once again, putting on the Mod Podge. I 
I went a little bit heavier on these and really pushed the glue in a little bit further because the sepals were larger on this. I think that's what you call them on pine cones. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look that up after this. See, you can just dump the, gl the glitter right back in the bowl. And there she is. This one's done. Let's set that aside to dry. I like to use multiple sizes to give that variation effect. You will get glue all over the place if you're anything like I am and you will get glitter all over the place, but that's part of crafting. I wised up and uh, put the whole thing in the bowl when you think with these little ones after the first one. These are hanging to dry. I found they need about four to six hours. I, I really prefer to leave them overnight though so that any of the thicker glue spots can fully dry and harden. Here they are on display once they're fully dried. And here on my nature tree, you can see the gilded pine cones. You don't really see the gold, it just gives it more of a dimensional effect is what I find. And then I put the natural pine cone on here so that you could see the difference. They're both beautiful. I don't think you need the gold, the gilding, but it does give it that nice, again, that more dimensional effect if you're able to find it. I hope you enjoyed that demo and give these ornaments a try. Stick around for a video on how I put together this beautiful tree. Uh, and I will also be doing a video on how I did the gilded leaf garland. Thanks for coming back and I will see you soon.